Um, hello, so continuing on problems from BioCalic Contest 102. Um, the last problem, which is design a graph with shortest path calculator. So what this problem says is we have a directed weighted graph um, that has n nodes from 0 to n minus 1. And initially they are represented as an array of edges. And these edges have from node to node, so the, the source and destination node, and what's the cost of the edge. Okay, um, and then so directed with a cost, and we also have um, this graph class that has two uh, functions: add edge and um, shortest path. Okay, um, and then the add edge you get an edge f with the, f the source node, the destination node, and then the cost, and it's guaranteed that there was no edge before between these two nodes, so it's it won't get us a cycle. Um, and then what we get, uh, we get calls to shortest path from one node to another. And what we want to do is get the minimum cost of that path. And if there is no path, we just want to return minus one. And basically the cost of a path is just the sum of the edges along that path. Okay. And so here, if we take a look at this gr first graph, um, we are asked first about the shortest path from z 0 to, um, sorry, not the shortest path. So first we get this list of edges, right, um, here, um, this one here, the list of edges. And then we we'll get asked the shortest path from 3 to 2. So from 3 to 2, um, well, we could go here and then go here, and that would be... The path would be um, 8. Um, can we do another path? Well, we could go here, then go here, and then go here. And so that would be 3 plus 2 plus 1, which would be 6, which is smaller. And we have only those two path paths, so we return 6. Now, the second one is we want a shortest path between 0 and 3. Well, there is no path between 0 and 3 because the edge is directed in the, in the inverse uh, direction. And so we return minus one because there is no path. This then we add this edge one uh, to three with a cost of four. So that's this one, and we are asked for the path, uh, the co the minimum cost of the path from zero to three. Well, that would be just like this. We could do it like this, and then like this. That would be six. Um, and then if you take a look, there is there is no other path really. Um, and so um, we return uh, 6 here. And so that's the idea with the shortest path. Um, now, how do, we, how do we tackle this? Um, okay, so let's think about this. How do we handle it? So this is a directed path with a cost, and we want the shortest path. So usually shortest path is BFS, um, except if it has costs, if it's a weighted graph. And then in a weighted graph, we can use Dijkstra. To solve it and this is actually just a straightforward application of dextra which basically is a greedy does it in a greedy way where so for example the first one asks us for a shortest path between three and two okay three to two and so in that case well we start from the source three and then we go to we pick the smallest um outgoing edge we start from it so we start here we go to zero, this one here, and then we pick the smallest again, and so we go to one. Um, and then we, the smallest, well, it's going to this like this, and this, we would arrive at two here first through this path. And that path would be three plus two plus one, which would be six. And now the way we do it so that we can each time pick the smallest cost, we could just use a heap where we, in the heap each time, for each node, we go through the neighbors and just add the the cost and then the node. Now the cost here, because we added it as the first element of the pair, the heap will be based on this cost value. And so each time we pop from the heap, we pop the element with the smallest cost. So that's what um, uh, Dijkstra does. And then for this cost, Let's say we, we traverse a node and that node has a cost, getting to that node has a cost C. 
and the the edge from this node to neighbor let's say has a cost maybe of nc right then this cost is going to be just c plus nc because we go let's say to one there is the cost to get to one and then to get to two is just that cost plus the cost from one to two which is one okay so that's roughly the idea that's roughly how we will when we traverse the neighbors we'll just add um, this cost like this and we will make sure the first uh, the pair of the first value is the the cost so that when we when we pop we get the smallest value first and then we'll do the normal um dijkstra algorithm which is similar to bf bfs uh, we will use a visited set so that we don't visit the same node twice um it's just usual graph traversal but the other thing is we want to stop when we reach our destination which in this case is two so when we reach the destination we'll just return the cost that we got so when node is equal to our target um, then which is node 2 will just stop and we'll return the cost we got the cost we used to get there and we are guaranteed that this cost is the smallest with the extra because each time we pop the smallest one um, and so and we arrive at this node um, this is the first time we arrive at this node and this is the minimal cost and so we'll just return um, this cost here that we get um, and so that's pretty much the whole idea here now we just can code the default Dijkstra um, algorithm. Um, okay, so let's implement the solution we just saw in the overview. So first, we of course need to um, um, to just create our graph. And so that would be just um, a graph, which would be um, a collection of a dictionary. And by default, we'll just default to an empty list. Um, just, and then we can add elements to it. And now, since we get these edges, we want to add them to the graph. And so since we have this function add edge we can just use it and then define that function okay so this function will need to so this edge is going to be to have the first parameter is from the second one is the destination node so two and then the last one is the cost okay and now we say that in our graph is going since it's some um, directed graph this is going to be for from we're going to add that we go to node two but with a cost cost. So each node will have the neighbor and the cost. And now we can uh, do our shortest path, which we said we'll do use a heap. And we said that the, the content is going to be first the cost and then the node, because we want the heap to pop using the smallest cost, to pop the smallest cost first. So initially the cost to get to node one is zero because that's the source. And so it's initially zero because that's where we start from. Um, and then we need, of course, a visited set so that we don't need, we don't visit a node multiple times. And then we go through the neighbors. And so basically for each one, we'll get the the neighbors for this node that we are visiting. Sorry, um, I forgot to do, we are, we are going to, of course, go through the heap. Um, and then we are going from the heap to extract the, the smallest cast node first. That's what we are going to do. And so this will give us the cost, which is the first parameter, and then the node. So that's what we traverse here. We traverse the neighbors of this node. And now we want to make sure before we going, we traverse the node, we want to make sure that we haven't visited it before. Then we traverse it. And traversing it is just adding it to the queue so that later we push it in the cut in the cost order. Remember, we always want to extract the smallest cost first. And so what's the cost? It's just the cost to get to the node plus the cost to get to this neighbor, which is NC, uh, because the graph here has the destination and then the cost. So this is going to be cost plus NC, and this is the neighbor. Now here we want to add it, of course, to the visited set so that we don't visit it again. But the other thing we want to do is we want to check if we actually um, we want to check if we actually reach the destination node, which is node 2. So if node is equal to node 2, we are done, we can just return the cost. Because with Dijkstra, because we extract the smallest cost and we arrive at our target, we are guaranteed that this is the smallest cost. Um, and so at the end, we could just um, return. So here, if we traverse the entire heap and we didn't find our node, return minus one because that means there is no path so we return just minus one 
um, and now um, so the heap when we push sorry this actually needs to be heap up because we want to extract and when we push here we want to pass where we are pushing which is the heap so that should be that should fix it and I will submit and this passes our test cases um, yeah so pretty much just using default dijkstra here um, um, and yeah just implementing default dijkstra um, that's pretty much it thanks for watching and see you on the next one bye